things out a little bit more. We, when we lost Arthur, kind of forced us to go more ten personnel with four, you know one one back and four wide receivers, and you know they, they gave us some things in their coverage scheme that allowed us to, to play one on one football, and you know that's where we had Tyshawn quite a few of those times. So you know I, I think it goes back to the same thing. Just you got to make sure you're getting your the ball in the hands of your best players, and at the end that's what it came down to. Son, you need some big plays in the second half, and, and Aaron seems to look your way when he needs those plays. What is it? What does it mean to you to? have that option, have that ability at the end of the game. Oh, it's always good to feel reliable. You always want him to have that trust in you as a quarterback, and we try to install that every day in practice. Even when he came early in the summertime, we try to install that, so it looks like it's working out. They're kind of keyed on you on that last touchdown play, and two guys go with you, and Kyron's wide open. Do you guys expect that? Well, honestly, when t I like when teams play one-on-one, -on -one, man to man I feel like it's a better matchup for me. But when I seen that the safety come down and me him look eyes on eyes, I said I knew that that's who had me and the, and the corner. So when I ran in, I just ran right to safety and Kyron was wide open. He made a big play. Defense played really well in that overtime, and you know the day ends as it began with uh, you know an emotional play by by Mike Mushaw. What does the team get from from the events of this week and what we saw happen? Oh, this is great. Mike, Mike's a great guy. He's genuine. You know, like a lot of people look up to him. I look up to him. Everything he does, you know, the way he carries himself. You know, our defense they stepped up in the big one. The long touchdown around the long touchdown the sideline. Well, I think when he's when he he had a really really good week of practice. When he's practicing well, he plays extremely well. And we we handed it to him. He threw one today. Um, obviously, he caught a bunch of passes. So our job is to try to get the ball in his hands in a bunch of different ways, move him around formationally so he's not just in one place where they can roll coverage over the top of him. And you know, when he's on like that, we're just going to keep feeding the football. Obviously an emotional day and, you know, it ends probably can't script it any better with the sack on the last play of the game. Talk about the emotions from the beginning of the day up until that last play. You know, emotions have been high all day, you know, ever since I met them yesterday and then spending all this time with them this morning too. It's, and it's ending the game like that is definitely everything was for, for Elmore. You know, after the game, after the sack, I pointed right up there I just had to make sure everybody knew that it was, this day was for her. Yeah, this whole game, everything Offense comes down, kicks a field goal at the end, and, and scores on that first play. Tyshawn James making some big games. What's it? What's it like having a guy like him who can make plays offensively? Tyshawn is a man. You know, when he plays out there, it's, there's no one that can, can cover him. No one can beat him up. You know, he's, he's gonna go get that ball if, if it's his opportunity. He's gonna make the best out of every opportunity he gets. You know, he's a key part of our offense. We wouldn't be in a situation without having a guy like that on this team. A player like Aaron, when he gets the ball with four and a half minutes left, any doubt they're gonna go down and score? No. You know, Aaron, when he gets the ball, he's a, he's a special type of, type of quarterback. Yeah, he's. I've never, never seen a quarterback like that in my life. Where he can run the ball, he can throw the ball on the run. On the, in, uh, he's so accurate. You have opportunities everywhere with him and him at quarterback. Defensively, gave up some yards and some points, but when you needed it, you know, Fode was a big, big force fumble, and then the recovery by you guys and the offense goes down and scores. So they continue to make plays. Yeah, you know, our defense all around. It starts with defensive line, goes all the way through the DBs, you know, the Jack boys, the neighborhood. You know, everyone's out there making plays, and that sack wouldn't have happened without the D line getting the pressure and Fode and the outside linebackers making plays when they need to, when we need them to. So. Everyone shows up when it comes down to it.